Two weeks after Election Day, there's a surprisingly hot ending to a contested supervisor's race in Westchester County. Several voters submitted absentee ballots, but then told a judge they should not be counted. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has more on the outcome from North Castle. I uh, respect the people who voted for me, and I respect the people who voted uh, against me. Democrat Joe Rendy knows the number of those people is pretty much equal. He's declaring victory in the race for supervisor of North Castle by just three votes, 1585 to 1582 over Republican Barbara DiGiacinto. Every vote counts. Absolutely, yeah. Well, in this race, some votes weren't counted. Four people who submitted absentee ballots last week asked a judge to throw them out. Two of the ballots belonged to children of the town clerk. One was submitted by the daughter of current supervisor Michael Shalero. Rendy and his lawyers say they were ready to prove those absentee voters didn't actually live in North Castle. The court fight ended when the absentees told Judge Nancy Quinn Coba their ballots should not be counted. It is best for everyone to uh, withdraw those ballots, and uh, I was happy that they saw that. So, after a bitter election, Rendy says he doesn't want frosty relations at town hall. And your opponent is still on the town board. That's challenging. Once we get through the holiday season, maybe uh, things will heal a little bit, and by the time that I'm officially sworn in, we can sit down and, and work together, and that's what I look forward to doing. In Armagh, town of North Castle, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Now, North Castle politics were tense this year. The outgoing Democratic supervisor crossed party lines to endorse the Republican.